racist to create a gift guide targeted for non-white Americans. That's what some think about the New York Times' new of color stylish gift guide. It's the first time the paper has featured gifts that it describes as gifts created for and by people of color. The guide includes 18 products, including children's books, women's clothing, nail polish, things like that. So are some people just being way too sensitive? Is this a good intention gone wrong? Joining me now, attorney and life coach, Lauren Lake. Lauren, thank you for your time. Okay, I, I just first, before we really talk about it, I want your gut reaction when you first heard about the gift guide, your initial reaction. And you know what? It really is a gut reaction because I was out of town when it was actually published, Rochelle. So right off the bat, I thought to myself, a whole bunch to do about nothing. Okay. At what point can we just celebrate our diversity and just be okay with it? Okay, when you say about nothing, um, you think that, that, the, that the guide is misguided and, and not, that it's not a big deal? Explain what you mean. I think that the immediate attack that it's racist okay. is, is, I think, just a whole bunch to do about nothing. I think we're at a point in our culture where every time we celebrate diversity or people of color, it doesn't have to be a racist attack associated to it from the opposition. Let's get real at some point. These are probably gift items that would never make it uh, to the shelves of maybe a Macy's, a Target, or some of our larger, larger marketplaces. And I think that it was great intentions on the part of the Times just to show people, if you have a friend of color, or maybe even you've adopted a child who is of color, or, or, or a, a husband or wife, these are just some really cool, fun things that you may not see, and that may not make it in in the larger marketplace and you can choose from these things and i really what i what i almost didn't like i can say this though is it just, are the, do the gift items have to be just created for people of color and, mm -hmm. or can people who are just white enjoy them too okay lauren let me ask you this when you say that these are um these are items um how, how do I put this exactly? Um, do you think that something like this was necessary then? If you're saying that it's giving products a chance that maybe wouldn't have had a chance before to put them in the mainstream, do you think something like this was maybe in fact necessary? Well, I do, and that's what I'm saying. I mean, I would love it if we chose a top 10 list of gift items and half of those items were uh, created by people of color. But usually, if we're very honest, that's just not the case. And so these are items and gifts that are, that are by people who usually, in terms of production, marketing, getting shelf life, really don't have the opportunities to have the same showing um, as, as what we usually see in our bigger stores. Okay. This, this is just a really cute idea. And you know what? I say, let's take it even further. There are more people of color, not just Hispanic and African American people. What about, you know, um, Asian people, well, Indian actually, people, Lauren, West Indian people? One of the items actually is a beauty gift guide for Asian women. So Love it really it. does seem like they tried to be as diverse as possible. L see, let, me read, let me read a statement from the New York Times so we don't have to speak for them. Um, it says, our online gift guides are intended to offer holiday gift ideas for a wide variety of audiences and interests with Times writers and editors making smart and form choices that might appeal to those different audiences. The of color guide in the style and travel category is in keeping with that philosophy and with the efforts of a diverse time staff to directly address minority readers with our content. So we wanted to get that statement out so we didn't have to guess what their intentions were. Um, but Lauren, I hear what you're saying. You're saying maybe sometimes people just need, need to take a, a deep breath, maybe? Yeah, okay. just take a minute and say, you know what, instead of how can I knock this down, how can I maybe enjoy it? Maybe one of these books are a great gift idea for my child, my white child. So maybe they can learn about other cultures as well. Okay. Lauren, thank you so much. Appreciate thank your you. insight. For more of What Matters, check out the January issue of Essence Magazine or log on to CNN.com slash What Matters.